A crystal grid provides a structure using sacred geometry to create a dimensional space. This space creates a container to focus energy for a specific healing purpose. Um, the reason why this works is because you have every everything in nature, everything in the world is built, or the universe is built off these basic structures of geometric patterns. For instance, this pattern here, which I'm not going to use because it's too small for the grid I'm going to make today, but this is, this hexagon is involved in basically every, the building blocks of all of life. Um, so, I use this pattern, but you can also use the um, Flower of Life pattern, um, whatever, whatever geometric structure that you'd like to use. Um, you want to use at least six points on your grid or, or four. Um, I'll get into more of that. So the longer the grid is in place, the more intense the effect is. However, there is a point where you need to dismantle the grid since it's done its job or needs to be cleansed and recharged. Um, so what you want to first do when building your grid is you want to state what your goal is and you want to write it down. So my goal with my grid is for better communication and mental clarity with like my own inner truth and my own higher consciousness. So I'm going to write higher consciousness communication. So once you have your goal stated here, you want to put it set in the middle of your grid. Going on top of this, which is going to be your center slash focus crystal. Now focus crystals can be, um, they can be a cluster, they can be a pyramid, they can be, um, or they can be a transmitter crystal of clear quartz or amethyst. So here's like an example of a pyramid. This is what a transmitter crystal looks like. It has two faces on it that have seven sides. This is the seven. One, two, three, four, five. This little one is six, and then seven down the side. And then it has another matching one on the other side. So you're gonna wanna program this transmitter crystal, which will transmit the energy um, or your intent from the universe, you're going to call that energy to your grid. So I'm going to program this crystal with my intention. So with this crystal, my intention is to improve my higher consciousness communication and have it become more of a first nature and with clarity. So program crystal, your focus crystal goes in the middle on top of your intention paper. Next, on your inner ring, of your grid you would like you were going to want to put the major stones for that communication that you're trying to get so like the, the i'm using today rainbow fluorite because rainbow fluorite <clears throat> aids in that higher consciousness communication and clarity and focus mental concentration, clarity, and focus. And that's what I'm trying to do, is trying to get my brain back in charge uh, and not my reactions or my, my ego, per se. So I'm going to make these six points around this crystal with my rainbow fluorite. So this is like my main focus, just like that. And then my next ring out from here is going to be your support crystals. Your next ring is going to aid the communication of these florets. So I'm using amethyst crystal points. So you're going to then next place your amethyst crystal points 
which is strengthening that connection, strengthening that that intention, and it's going to radi uh, it's going to direct it through this pattern and out throughout your room. like so. Next, you're going to want to add grounding stones to ground this energy to this plane, this dimension, which is planet Earth. So I'm using a combination of these earth stones that I feel most connected to, which is moss agate. It, it dispels uh, despondency and gives any, and it helps with depression and gives one purpose to try again in life. Um, see how the moss looks like it's growing from within it. This is a natural stone. So I'm going to put that guy here to ground that energy. Then I have polychrome jasper, which reminds us of the multifacets of life that need to go together to create what we are. Jaspers are nicknamed the worry stones for that reason, to take and alleviate your worry. Stromalite awesome grounding stone and a very good protecting stone as well from negative uh, energy. I'm going to leave him up this way because he looks cool. Um, <clears throat> then you've got leopardite jasper, which is like this like, conglomerate type uh, jasper, but it, it's a confident stone. It's also a stone that um, assists in shamanic journeying. have tree agate which is really good for anybody who works in the farm industry or anything with plants also agates help harmonize and balance your um, mind body and spirit and they give you a sense of calm as well let's see how the difference between moss and tree is tree agate looks more like ferns on a tree moss agate looks like it's growing from within the stone And then my last one is a conglomerate because conglomerate reminds us that because the word conglomerate means um, we each have the separate uniqueness to uh, the individual or the item. But when put all together, they may they make one solid unit yet re re uh, maintain their original uniqueness and individuality and purpose. But together create something completely new and work together very well. So this always reminds me of like how we should be as humans, you know, this is, we are a conglomerate of Earth. So there's that. There's your basic grid layout. Now for um, you want to you don't have to, but it's good to you. If you want to amplify this grid, you can add these smaller crystals to help amplify this energy. So these can go all throughout, just as long as they maintain the symmetry of the geometric pattern, because that is the building block of life. Symmetry and balance. And you can add as many stones as you want. So this right here is a completed crystal grid. But now you have to activate your grid. So to activate your grid, you want to use... You can use a kyanite. You can use a long, thin quartz. But the best would be a selenite wand. Because selenite wands um, organize the uh, structure, the energy structure of stones, and then they, they connect the energy. So what you want to do with your solid wand, my handmade spiral wand, he needs a little work, <laughs> but you start, you draw one line from your focus crystal to then make the connections of all these other stones. So you want to make the connections, bring it through, imagine this line connecting all these stones with this purpose, Go to your outer ones. And then I go around one more time and I connect my grounding stones. And now this grid, with this intention, I now deem it activated and it is now pulsating its energy. It's creating this structured dimension of space with my intention in the middle. Well, that is 
that's it that's the basic that's a very basic um, formation crystal grid um, like I said before you want to leave it up for as long as you want or until its job has been served its purpose has been served but also make sure to maintain your crystal grid kind of like anything else in your life any trinkets or anything you have laying around the house if it gets dusty or they get you know, the stagnant in a sense. You want to pick them up, move with them. You know, memorabilia, you want to do the same thing, not only because you want to get them clean, but it re-brings up that positive memory. It re-reminds you of your values and the things that you care about. So it's like the more you interact with something and the more you put your energy and your time into it, it reminds you that this is your intention. My intention being clear, higher consciousness, communication. And every time I look at this grid and I activate it and I and I deconstruct it and charge the crystals and take care of them and clean them and anything like that, my mind is now on that intention. So that's the point. You want to bring a tangibility to your mental retrain of your brain. And, and that way, when you take the thought and you put it into action, it helps with the creation of that manifestation because you are alchemizing basically substance or non-substance into substance. That's the whole point. So thank you for watching and if anybody has any questions or any other things they want to see a video on, crystallize or anything, just let me know. Have a wonderful day and Happy New Year.